you know, as a girl, you kind of go in expecting, oh, it's going to be full of really big, burly men and um, just surrounded by all these guys who think, oh, these girls can't do it. Um, but it, it's not like that at all. I'm very um, feminine and people sort of go, you do scenic construction? And I'm like, yeah. And then I tell them about my course and I tell them how Central's allowed me to take on placements in one of the, some of the top scenery companies in London. And I've done welding placements for whole terms and it's really sort of shown me that it's not what I imagined. I think the best bit about Central is the fact that uh, everyone knows each other. It's quite a small space. But uh, in the first two terms of first year, you get to meet pretty much everyone on theatre practice. I got given a YouTube video and got told to make a Swinney Todd chair from a YouTube video. Um, so I, although I'm a scenic constructor, I had to design it, I had to draw it, I had to engineer it. Um, so you get the freedom to do what you want as well. I love it. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I, why would I want to be in a lecture theatre with 200 people when I can be in a workshop nine to five and just build stuff all day. Best thing about the course here at Central is the fact that they are doing something that is industry relative. Everything they're making is actually going to go into a, a working theatre. It's not just a whimsical project that's made to fill time. The guys are making a real theatre set that will be used with actors in an actual theatre. So. <laughs> What I like about Central is that Central doesn't just stick with the traditional. The courses here are about the students finding out where they want to go. Uh, scenic construction inspires me because I get to make something and you, although you've got to make something to a, a specification, there are bits where you can change. So if you've got problems, it's up to you to problem solve it. And I think that's what I kind of really thrive on is the problem solving. There's ultimately going to be a point where Maybe a measurement's gone astray or there's been a lack of communication between maybe an external designer or director or within the group that you're working in the actual set of constructors. Um, that's inevitable, but it's how you, that's the bit where you actually have to get in gear because it's about how you actually get over that. We, we have um, a few like tutors, uh, they're more like visiting lecturers who come in and they're normally professionals, um, so they're actually in the industry so we get first hand, like first port of call people come in and be like, oh, this is exactly what I do in my day-to-day -day work. And they're teaching us, which is something that I don't think many courses offer. So it's a really exciting experience every day. I love it.